Ghost has become a smash hit as the number one new comedy of the season. Joining us today is New Jersey native Asher Grodman, who plays Trevor, a character who you all love in this. And it's one of the biggest mysteries of the season right now, because you know with Trevor, what's going on with him? You think the show is resonating with viewers? Well, guess what? Everybody right now wants to know what happened to Trevor's pants. Sounds like we're finally going to find out on this Thursday's episode. So tell us what's going to happen to your pants. Asher, good to see you. What's happening? Hey, thanks for having me. Um, well, the one thing I can tell you is I've seen a lot of fan theories about what might have happened to those pants, um, and uh, every single one of them is wrong. So I promise we'll surprise you. Hey, congratulations on this show. Huge success. Um, have you been able to pinpoint what it is that resonates with viewers? Because not only do people love watching it, they love streaming it. I mean, it's like this is like the big hit of the season. Oh, my God. Um, listen, it is a surreal experience. Uh, I think maybe there's a few things. Our cast, we really love each other, and we kind of sat with this thing through the pandemic, never knowing if we were going to be able to make it or not. So we were kind of the light at the at the end of the tunnel. Um, just this group was. So I think maybe some of that shows up, and I also think that our our writers, our showrunners, Joe Port and Joe Wiseman, our whole writers room does an amazing job of. Uh, with kind of switching between the funny and the poignant in the show, there's a lot of joy and. Um, and at its core, it's a show about bringing in, mm -hmm. connecting a bunch of people who would never normally uh, have the chance to connect, right? From different time periods. Yeah. And, uh, so there's a lot of connection and, and, uh, and joy in the show. How psyched were you with this character when they came to you with Trevor? Uh, did, you, did you say to yourself, yeah, this is the guy that I want to play if I want to be a part of this show? Oh yeah, for me it was always always Trevor. And the second that I read, uh, there's a, the first words that Trevor says. I think uh, in the pilot, um, it was the summer of '98. My Lehman Brothers boys and I scooped a copter to beat the traffic out to the Hamptons because <laughs> that's how we roll. I was like, who are these writers? Who are these guys? This is amazing. Um, and so I love Trevor, and I and I find a little bit of like a puppy energy in him, you know, because he's always looking for a good time and trying to connect with this group. So. What, is, what is it about him, though, that has really resonated with people? Because it seems to be kind of like the breakout character. There are a lot of great characters in the show. No disrespect to anybody else you, with your work, that you work with, but he's really kind of been a breakthrough, one of the ones that have really emerged. Oh, that's very sweet to say. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess, I mean, from I can only assume for other people, maybe it's what drew me to it, because it's very easy to, you know, kind of, Look at the the Lehman Brothers, uh, Wall Street finance world, and and create a very two dimensional uh, view of that. But I think it's that puppy like energy, that like younger brother type thing, that is just looking to have a good time uh, shamelessly. And I think there's also fun uh, something fun in the fact that the dude who's most likely to objectify you is already completely objectified because <laughs> he's not wearing any pants. <laughs> Uh, did, you, did you have a hard time doing any of your lines, standing there in front of everybody? I mean, I know your shirts are obviously a little extended, but you're without uh, pants for a lot of times here. <laughs> I'm without pants all the time um, <laughs> in this show. And it's funny for me, I've never done a comedy before. This is never even even something that I came close to doing. So for me, not wearing any pants is, uh, in the beginning was a little bit of like um, a comfort. I was yeah. like, well, maybe this will take care of some of the funny for me. But actually, it's kind of, as an actor, you're always taking risks. Um, and so it's hard to sleepwalk through a day without any pants on. So it keeps me awake and aware uh, at all times. OK, just a little bit of trivia with you before you go. New York or New Jersey? Okay. Give me uh, either or. Is this a real question? Yeah, these are real questions. New York or New York? New York. Uh, OK, well, you, uh, you got Jersey roots too, right? I have. I was born in New York. I was raised on a farm in New Jersey, so I love the wildlife and stuff like that. But a home and community is New York. Okay, I all play right. football like six blocks away from <laughs> where you are right now. All right, all right, here's a, here's a here's a tough one for you. If anybody's checked out your Instagram page, New York Giants or Jacksonville Jaguars? That's the easiest question ever. Jacksonville Jaguars. How? And I how don't does care this happen? How long it takes, we will win. It'll happen. <laughs> I have all the faith in the world. And finally, Star Wars or Star Trek? Because I know you got a big fan out there for one of those two. <laughs> Star Wars. Mark <laughs> Hamill uh, went on a kindness spree and individually tweeted at every single member of the show. Uh, and just like made, uh, give us a, a highlight of our lives. When Luke Skywalker uh, so. loves Trevor, you know you've made an impact, my man. As far as I'm concerned, Mark Hamill is the mayor of Woodstone Mansion. So there you have it. There you he's, have it. he's allowed to do whatever he wants anytime. Great to talk to you. Continued success, and really, uh, I'm really happy for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It was you a got pleasure. it. Be well.
The secret about Trevor's missing pants finally revealed when his wealthy former friend comes to Woodstone Mansion. Watch the CBS original series Ghosts Thursday, March 31st, beginning at 9 p.m. on CBS2 and streaming live and on demand on Paramount+.